Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was in support of the on block amendment, but in particular in support of uh, my amendment in that amendment number 30. Uh, under current American law, veterans are entitled to certain emoluments when they pass. These include burial in a veteran cemetery uh, or in one of our national cemeteries or in a state cemetery supported by veterans' funds, uh, a flag to drape the coffin and a military honor guard, a certificate from the president. In 1997, however, following the bombing in Oklahoma City, this Congress recognized that those benefits were still accorded uh, to veterans who had committed even capital offenses. And they recognized that Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma City bomber, would have been entitled under current law to be buried with all of those honors. And so this Congress, in good judgment, decided to revoke those emoluments uh, those honorary benefits from veterans who had been convicted of uh, the violent crime of, of murder, and indeed we revoked it for all capital offenses. In 1997, we uh, expanded that and said it would be for uh, applicable to anybody convicted of a capital offense, whether they were sentenced to death or not. But we left a gaping hole in the law, and my amendment simply seeks to fill that hole. It's a gaping hole which says that if you have been convicted of the violent rape of a woman, you may still receive all of those honorary emoluments. You may still be buried in a veteran's cemetery with an American flag, with a certificate from the president, and with a military honor guard. That dishonors all of our nation's veterans who are indeed buried in those cemeteries as appreciation for their great service to this country. I believe, and I believe, that this body recognizes that rape is one of the most violent of all crimes. It's not committed in the heat of passion as murder sometimes is. It is indeed a plotted, carried out crime, a crime of immense violence. This issue came to my attention when Jenny Bush, a recent college graduate, went home on Halloween evening from her job, entered her home, and was accosted there by a man who had entered during the day through a first-story window. He taped her with duct tape, held her at knife point, and violently raped her. Fortunately, her rapist was caught, and in the course of the proceedings, it was determined that he was a serial rapist. He had indeed raped ten other women, including a nine-year-old girl. And yet, under the law in America, he was entitled upon his death to be, receive all of the military honors we give to those who have not committed such heinous crimes. That is an injustice, and it is injustice that this amendment corrects. This amendment was brought to me by Jenny Bush's father following the incident where the rapist, the serial rapist who uh, raped this young lady, uh, committed suicide on the morning of his sentencing and then was buried with all of those military honors. I don't think that we should say that our veteran cemeteries are open to the burial and to uh, utilization by sex offenders who have committed violent rape against America's women. This has been a three-year struggle where we have sought to amend the law. I want to thank the Rules Committee for making this amendment in order. I want to thank Steve Bush and his daughter Jenny for their courage in raising this issue. I want to thank Ann Ream, who is with the Voices and Faces Project, uh, Stephanie Hansen and Joanne Amber Amberbalt with End Violence Against Women International for their work in trying to help this legislation. It seems to me that it is well time for us to correct the injustice which exists in our law on this issue. And I commend the committee for making it possible for to us to correct this. I want to make it clear that this amendment only takes away those honorary emoluments. It does not financially punish the family of the perpetrator of these crimes. It simply says that we are not going to give these special honors to someone convicted of such a heinous crime as rape. Uh, I want to thank the chairman of the committee and the ranking member of the committee. Uh, I believe this is something that uh, will, in fact, honor this Congress by recognizing we do not, as a nation, tolerate violent crimes against women. Uh, our uniform military code of justice, indeed, already provides that rape is, in fact, a capital crime. So this brings our code in line 
with the current provision of the law. Uh, and the FBI ranks rape second only to murder. And as I've already indicated, I believe you can make the argument that rape is indeed a more heinous crime than murder because it is also it is always carried out with forethought and planning uh, and perpetrated often with great violence, as it was against Jenny Bush. This legislation mirrors a bill which I have introduced in the Congress for the last three years called Jenny's Law, named after Jenny Bush. It has been officially endorsed by the RAIN Network, which is the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, and also uh, has been endorsed by the Military Order of the Purple Heart. And I would like this time to ask unanimous content to put into the record a letter from the Military Order of, Pur of the Purple Heart uh, at this point. Request be covered by General Lee. Thank you. Let me simply conclude that uh, I urge my colleagues to support the on-block amendment. I, pardon me, and I and I'd be happy to yield to the ranking member. I want to thank the gentleman for bringing this amendment. I think uh, this is something I was totally unaware of, and I appreciate his work. This is a, a great addition to the to the bill, and I support it wholeheartedly. Thank you. Reclaiming my time, let me just briefly say I have spent a good deal of my fi life uh, advocating for the victims of crime. Uh, it seems to me this is an outrage that exists in current law. The victims of crime should not be re-victimized. In this case, American law does re-victimize uh, those victims of rape under these circumstances, and I think it's high time that we correct it. Uh, I thank again the chairwoman of the Rules Committee uh, and the chairman and chair and ranking member of the Armed Services Committee, or for this committee, uh, for making the correction of this injustice possible. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back the balance of his time. Gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I yield two minutes to my friend, member of the Armed Services Committee.